Welcome one and all, my name is Tavis, and today we're going to do something a bit different. What you have here is a list of all the clans in Battletech. And we are going to roll a dice 20 and see which one we're going to pick a paint scheme from. Now I'm using D&D Beyond to roll because well, it's a dice roller and it works. We get number 19, Clan Wolf. That small and mostly unknown clan with few and very standardized paint schemes. No. So we head over to Unit Color Compendium and we bring up Clan Wolf. And as you'll see, they have about 20 different paint schemes. Not kidding. 20. And uh, so, fairly interesting one actually. A few stock standard, but mostly interesting. So, roll another dice 20. And we see what we get. We get number 8. Now, what would that be? You might wonder. Well, I know you don't, but I know, and I feel sorrow. So, let's count down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there you are. Bronze Keshik. A woodland sort of camo. Browns, greens, yellows, muddled with some bronze accents. My favorite. I promise. Honest to God, I promise, it's my favorite. Not. So, I dug out my prized and loved Mad Dog, aka Vulture, aka Adorable Piece of Plastic. And I do this mostly because I know there are more mechs coming in. We are going to be picking up some line boxes going forward and well, hopefully that will make this sacrifice a bit less stinging. Because I can't paint this sort of, paint, this sort of armor spec. I wish I could paint this sort of camo, but I can't. So we're gonna try. This will be our test bed. If it looks good, we maybe do a few more of these, but if not, we're gonna leave it at this one. So, we're gonna start off with Venomous Vivern. Venom Vivern, which is a mossy green. And I'm gonna go at it very, uns very unscientific. This is just gonna slap the color on. No real plan behind it at all. Just giving it the go. Uh, Venom Virm is, as you can see, it's a warm yellowish green. Nice woodland color, basically. And I'm going to apply it wherever I think it will be a nice green splotch. Because I have tried to learn how to paint a few of these. But most of the guides you can find, proper guides, are for tanks which are square boxes with other square boxes or octagonal boxes or something on top of them. Mechs, on the other hand, are mostly just curves. So, I'm not gonna mask this out properly. We're just gonna slap color on and hopefully it will end up well. I'm sure you can tell me how this end up by the end of it. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. We will see indeed. So, pretty much from the suggestion on the unit color compendium and hitting the arms and the legs and the center torso and leaving the shoulders and some other parts to be painted, 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 English is getting away from me again, painted bronze. We then do a mix between demonic yellow and... Uh, the green to create a sort of mid-tone to this camouflage. It's not distinct patterns, it's more like a soft mush, basically pea soup. It's pea soup the camo. But yeah, trying to tie the areas together, creating nice big patches of this yellowy green color. And um, yeah, not much more to say about that actually. Again, this is not particularly precise. It is not an exact science by any stretch of the imagination. I think it should be. And I really should try to tackle this a bit more efficient, but I decided to go in blind here. So I pretty much just wrote on the clans and then started recording and rolling. And then I went directly to painting because I want to challenge myself. I mean, if you don't challenge yourself, you don't grow. And this was a challenge, trust me, very much challenge. 
But, I mean, beyond that, not much to do about it. We're gonna hit it now with some pure demonic yellow to bring out some bright spots in it. I went a bit too heavy there, but the idea is basically just to get the last kind of brightness into it. I'm so particularly happy about this getting this scheme. But uh, it was to do. When do random? Random is random. I mean, had it done a three color range of my colors on flag instead. So I mean, these sort of challenges are to try and evolve and overcome and do better. Not do well necessarily, but do better. So yeah. We then move on to the gray, which in this case is my favorite gray, which is Necromancer Cloak. A nice earthy brownish gray. And it gets applied in between the areas. In some places, some places it gets applied like next to areas. Basically just filling out what's left, more or less. Which is kinda nice actually. Um I mean the idea is to turn tie things together, separate at some points and make sure there are no big grey spots left. Next up we hit them with some dark iron, a very dark rusty colour that I use as a base for most of my bronze, copper and gold because it is a great base layer and you will see soon once we apply it on this shoulder here how I may efficiently use it to create a bit of dimension in the metallic. Now of course uh, probably we need to do non-metallic metallic on these models but we're not really there yet. We still have some a bit to go. Some bit to go. That is to do that at some point. Because here, you just take the true copper, which is not a bronze mm. color, but it's a copper color, but don't have, have good bronze, bronze color. And we apply it over the dark iron, being careful to not cover completely, but also still doing more than a dry brush. This allows us to create a nice separation between the dark areas and the highlights. Make it look a bit nicer, I think. But you know, it is what it is. So, after that I actually just hit it with some silver. You know how to paint silver, right? It's just hitting silver. And then we do apply a thick, wet coat of jungle green on the cockpit areas. Follow that up with some dark angel green. Angel green, it's not dark angel, it's angel green. And then uh, in the recesses to make a bit of a fade, we tease the feather areas, tease the areas to get the greens to mix a bit, getting those nice gradient going. And it's tiny areas, then get hit with a touch of jungle green, demonic yellow, and uh, I think it is the product flesh. Just brighten it up a bit and create the upper highlight. I think it turned out pretty well for the size of the area. It's tiny. And then we just hit it with my special sauce, which is a thin down coat of Nuln oil to make it a bit recessed and glossy. And to blend the poor canvas back together a bit, because oh dear lord, it looked bad at some points. But yeah, that's my standard sauce. Oh the beauty shots. And there you have it, finished up, lovely make, sorry for the slight seasickness in the, in the camera, and uh, I think it turned out pretty good actually. So, if you like this, hit like, subscribe, send me your best wishes, and until next time, stay safe, be kind, and do, do play fair. Bye.